Daughter fumes are dangerous and occur as a result of heated rosin-based flux, which if breathed in over time can cause long-term health issues. So in this project, I'll be showing you how to make a fully 3D printed solder fume extractor. It includes these awesome soldering arms and it also includes a flexible LED light. This way you can avoid these hazardous fumes and get back to soldering. Let's get started. If you guys like projects like this one, go ahead and subscribe as I'll be trying to make a new project like this every couple of weeks. For this project, you'll need an on-off switch, an LM317 voltage regulator, a couple of resistors, old PC fan, LED book light, and an active carbon filter which we will cut the size of our PC fan. We'll also need some of these soldering arms which I believe are used in CNC machines for coolant then also access to a 3D printer. So when I opened up the LED book light, I saw that it was powered off 3.7 volts. So I grabbed an LM317, and then I went to the data sheet and calculated out the resistor values to step down our 12 volts down to 3.7, so then we can power our LED light. Putting it all together on a breadboard and verifying it output 3.7 volts on a multimeter, I went ahead and connected up the light, and then I connected the entire circuit up. It's a pretty simple circuit, we have our 12 volts powering our PC fan, and then we have our LM317 with our calculated resistor values powering our LED book light. Now that I knew the circuit would work, I designed up all of the 3D printed components. First there's a basic cover for the PC fan and the carbon filter, and then just underneath that there's a base which has room and like storage for electronics, and then to make the base a little bit heavier, I ended up adding a slot down here that I, could, I just put a 1 inch door flange in back there's just a simple cover which has room for our on off switch and then we have the LED book light stand which we can actually route the wires through this tube into the base and then we also have our four holders for the solder arms once you have everything complete and 3d printed then it's time to assemble it up first route the PC fan wires through the slot put the cover on top of the PC fan and then remove the PC fan but keep the wires still in place Push in the top cover and then use some super glue to hold it in place. Insert your PC fan with your active carbon filter and go ahead and push the cover into place. Here you're going to want to turn on your soldering iron, insert your on off switch into the back cover, solder everything up. Insert your flexible LED book light into the little hole and then route the wires through. Then grab some 8 by 1 half inch screws and then screw in the back cover. For the solder arm holders, uh, I couldn't figure out a way to get Fusion 360 to do MPT threads. I don't know if it has the capability, so I just made them press fit. And then I made the entire 3D printed part kind of press fit into the base. And that seems to be work really, really well. It actually allows a little bit of flexibility and turning to it. There, turn your on off switch on. Verify your PC fan starts spinning. And then enjoy your new solder fume extractor. As usual, all the links to all the designs and STLs can be found in the Instructable that I'll link in the description below. If you guys enjoyed this project and want to see more projects similar to this one, go ahead and hit subscribe and let me know your comments and thoughts below.